Psalm 52, verses 1 through 4. The tongue is one of the smallest parts of the body, and yet the tongue can do the most damage. In Psalm 52, David writes about an experience he had with a man who had a wicked tongue. The man's name was Doeg. Psalm 52, verse 1, This man had a boastful tongue. Why boastest thou thyself in mischief, O mighty God? The goodness of God endureth continually. Beware of a boastful tongue. What do we have to boast about? Pride is what he's talking about. Doeg was a proud man. He went and told Saul about David, and as a result, some people died. Doeg, in his pride, was boasting. We like to boast because it inflates our ego, but those who boast should boast in the Lord. If we boast in the Lord, then we bring glory to him. Beware of a boastful tongue. Psalm 52, verse 2 tells me he had a sharp tongue. Thy tongue deviseth mischiefs like a sharp razor, working deceitfully, a lying sharp tongue. He picks this up in verse 3. Thou lovest evil more than good, and lying rather than to speak righteousness. Thou lovest all devouring words, O thou deceitful tongue, a sharp tongue. Have you ever been cut by someone's sharp tongue? More than that, have we ever cut someone with our words? The thing that really hurts is when we cut someone with lies. Lying is a terrible sin. Satan is a liar and a murderer. Satan wants to use our tongues to spread deceit, not righteousness. It's interesting that in verse 1 of Psalm 52, the thing that David magnifies is the goodness of God. The goodness of God endureth continually. When you boast of the goodness of God, then your tongue will be medicine, not a sharp razor to cut. Your tongue will be used to speak righteousness, not to spread lies. And when you magnify the goodness of the Lord, your tongue will be boasting about Him and not boasting about yourself. God can use our tongues to heal or to hurt. Let's yield our hearts to Him that our tongues might be used for blessing. 